Hello my friends, it's Danny, and today I am sharing a clean and delicious skillet cornbread. Now this is an updated version of a recipe I shared a few years back. I made a few tweaks to it, so this is definitely my best cornbread recipe to date. Mm. Now, I'm gonna be making this in a 10 inch cast iron skillet, but you could certainly do this in a nine by nine baking dish as well. So I have my oven preheating at 350 degrees Fahrenheit, and I'm gonna start by combining my wet ingredients, starting with a half a cup of buttermilk. Now, I love using the buttermilk because there's an acid in the buttermilk that's going to activate the baking soda we add later on in the recipe. And what that does is it produces a carbon dioxide gas, which is going to keep the cornbread nice and light and fluffy. Now, if you don't have buttermilk, you could sub in a half a cup of whole organic milk and then just add one teaspoon of white wine vinegar to the milk, let it sit on the counter for five, 10 minutes, and then that vinegar is gonna add enough acid to help activate the baking soda. So that will work if you're in a pinch. Then I have half a cup of honey, one egg, and a third of a cup of coconut oil that I melted in the microwave and then I let it just cool a little bit so I don't pour it in super hot. This could also be melted butter if you prefer. You just wanna add it in slowly and just begin to mix the ingredients together while you pour because we don't want the heat from the coconut oil to scramble our eggs, so we're tempering it. Then once you have it in, go ahead and continue to whisk all of the ingredients together. And you may notice that as the coconut oil is getting mixed in and it's cooling down, that it might begin to coagulate a little bit. Don't worry about it, it's perfectly fine. Once this all gets mixed together, that's actually gonna create tender little bits of deliciousness throughout the cornbread. Once I've got this all whisked together, I'm gonna set it aside and combine my dry ingredients, starting with one cup of organic non-GMO cornmeal. Now, you're gonna notice that they sell fine cornmeal, coarse cornmeal, and regular cornmeal. I have tried them all. To me, the fine is a little bit too soft. The coarse will actually give you hard little bits throughout your cornbread, so it's a little too hard for my liking. So I recommend looking for regular cornmeal, not fine and not coarse. And I will, of course, link to the one that I'm using here today down in the description box below. Then I have a half a cup of whole wheat pastry flour, which is a little bit finer than regular whole wheat flour, so it keeps the bread nice and light. One teaspoon of baking soda, and then a half a teaspoon of kosher salt. I'm gonna to gently toss this all together, and then I'm gonna add the wet ingredients into the dry ingredients along with a half a cup of frozen corn kernels that I defrosted on the counter. And then I'm just gonna gently mix this until everything is incorporated. You really just wanna stir it until it's just mixed together. We don't wanna over mix it, so this is looking good. From here, I'm gonna transfer the batter into a 10 inch seasoned cast iron skillet. If your skillet's looking a little dry, just rub it down with a nice light coating of coconut oil or butter before you get the batter into the pan. So get it into the pan, even out the top, and then pop this into the oven for 25 to 30 minutes or until the cornbread is looking nice and golden brown over the top and around the edges and it's all set through. Remember, whenever you're baking something, a great indicator that it's just about finished is when your kitchen starts to smell really fragrant and delicious. That means your baked goods are just about done. Then from here, I just let it cool down until I can handle it. And then I like to slice it just like a pizza into eight wedges. I love to serve this with a little drizzle of honey right over the top for a little extra sweetness. And then I'll usually serve some butter on the table as well so everybody has their options. Mm, 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 mm. That is so good. This is the perfect texture. It's moist, it's tender, it's a little bit crumbly, and I love the little pops that you get from the little corn kernels in the mix. Now, you can certainly enjoy this cornbread just the way it is and serve it as a side dish, whether it's for the holidays or if you're just making a pot of chili on a Tuesday night. And I also love to use this recipe to make my cornbread stuffing, which I'm planning to share with you all next week. So make sure you tune back in to see that video as well. I am so excited for you to try this recipe, and when you do, please snap a picture and tag me on Instagram and on Facebook. It makes my day to see you all making clean and delicious recipes in your very own kitchens. And if you haven't already, please take a moment to subscribe, like, and share this video with anybody else you know who wants to make healthy eating easy. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Danny Spees, and I'll see you back here next time with some more clean and deliciousness. Cheers.
Boop. Um, boop. <laughs> okay. Just a little butt. And I'm gonna start with, my brain goes faster than my mouth. 